everybody, it's Jeffrey, and I'm back with another open bore game. This one is called Spawn the Crusade Across Time. So let's pick a new game. Let's see, you can be Spawn, Akuma, Kratos, Hellboy, or Venom. Well, I'm going to play a Spawn. It's his game. So we'll... Uh, get this set up here. Now this game is good, but let me tell you right now, they really overdo it with the bad guys. Look at this. Look at it. Look at all the bad guys. It, there's so many. It's like, I, I don't know who programmed this, but there are a lot of enemies to fight. Now that's a good thing, having a bunch of enemies, but look at it. I mean, there's no way you could play this without cheats. The sad thing is, is when I downloaded it, the cheats were disabled in the game itself. The cheats were disabled. So I had a, a program I downloaded where you can actually put the cheats back into the game for an open board game. Because that's what I had to do. Because there's no way you can play this with the way it's made. I don't know who made it, but he went a little overboard with the with the enemies. Look at this. Look, you don't even have a second of time to uh, get get situated so you can fight the bad guys. There's just so many of them. Look, you are literally mobbed. They're just on top of you. You can't even see your guy half the time. You're just going to spam the punch button until you can possibly look beat them and move on with your life and I gotta keep doing this power move here because there's so many of them you don't have a chance to actually play for the most part you're just busy hitting that power move now I'm able to punch because there's a, a few less on the screen but okay enough of that what do I think of the graphics? The, the sprites they chose for this open board game. I like them. I think they did a very good job, whoever did it, for choosing the sprites. Right now, my only complaint is the amount of enemies. That's just a lot. Do I like the game? Well, I've played it before. Ooh, does that have some sort of a power? Oh, I thought I had a gun or something. That's, it's some sort of a, uh, power move or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I think it's a pretty good little game so far. Um, it would be nice, like I said. A little less enemies. The graphics are good. The gameplay is fun. If you like a challenge, this is the game for you. But I would suggest looking up how to uh, turn back on the cheats. It's not too hard. You're going to follow a few instructions. But I found a video on YouTube, and all you do is just watch each step, pause it, copy the step yourself, and uh, that's all you got to do. That's what I do, because I, I can't remember how to do it step by step, because it's quite involved. So I watch the guy's video and just follow along and I'm able to do it. Now sometimes, depending on how they uh, make the game, it doesn't always work. So, you know, you gotta give it a try and see what happens. But uh, luckily for this one, it worked good. I love those barrels they always have in Capcom games. Was that a fish? He just ate a fish. Look at all these guys! Ugh. The sprites are nice and big. Just like I like it. These guys with these chainsaw things. <laughs> I couldn't even see my guy. Now, if you had two players, it might be a little easier. Maybe the guy that made this intended it for a two-player game. But since I have no friends... <laughs> no, I'm teasing. 
Now, I do like Spawn like this, but I like the cape. They could have easily put the cape on, but maybe they did it for a reason. Maybe they weren't able to uh, put the cape. The sprite they're using probably didn't have the cape. But whoever, whatever game this is from, originally this sprite would have been nice had they put the cape in the original game. Whatever they based this on. Ugh, yeah! My lord. <laughs> I just gotta keep doing this! What a cheesy move! Can I get that? There we go. I remember the spawn game they had for Super Nintendo. It wasn't too bad for what it was, but this is much better. <laughs> Despite my complaint. Much better. This could really be a winner. I mean, it's not bad. It could really be a winner if they put the cheats on all the time instead of you having to finagle it yourself. Which not everybody can figure it out, unfortunately. That and the less enemies, and this would really be something. This would really be something. Look at these liquors from uh, Resident Evil. Ooh, ooh. See, it said liquor right up top. Like the rain, barrels, money, 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 and uh, roast, money. Probably gonna face a boss here. They give you all these things. I don't understand why Spawn has one boot that is so big. Of course, they mirror the image so the boot switches sides. <laughs> That's funny. More money. Now, you can tell he's in Lewiston because it's raining all the time. Because it always rains in Lewiston. It rains on the unloved. <laughs> What's that do? Those do nothing. I should have remapped these buttons because there's jump. There's punch, and then there's special. These other two, I mapped it the way it should be, and there's literally nothing that happens. So you might have to play around with it a little bit, because that power move being there would have been better. I suppose I can go in and change that. Because they give you all these options, but the game only has jump, punch, which turns into jump and kick if it... Well, I'd like to show you! Oh, see, I can't... There. Jump and kick. Like that. So if you jump and hit punch, he kicks. Like in most typical games, like Turtles or whatnot. Get the pizzas. Money. Money, money. Behemoth. Oh, good. It looks like Hulk 2099, except he's red. That's what it looks like, seriously. Not that you could probably tell because there's so many guys in the way. I think me and my friend Spice played this before and we actually finished it. I think I watched him finish it. See how it looks like Hulk 2099? It really does. I think that's probably what it's supposed to be. Boy, I'll also just sit here and do this. There's no way I can uh, play the game because they don't give you a chance. There's just so many. Yes, I know. I said that too much. I'm sorry. Everybody's red on the screen. They're all from Hades, I guess. Oh, I'm just there. Talk about cheesing it. Wow, that's cheesing it. Doing the same move. Stage one complete. I I'm not going to go any further, quite frankly. 
because it's uh it's it's good but you know you better be patient if you're gonna play this you need to be patient but yeah that's the game i played it about what 11 minutes here so it's not a bad game again if you download it open bore if you download the open bore game of this you better make sure that you figure out how to activate the cheats because they're disabled in the menu when you go to it. They're disabled, so you need to enable the cheats and you can do it, research it, look on YouTube. That's where I found the tutorial on how to activate the cheats. They tell you where to go to download the software and the software has a password, so when you're looking on the YouTube page, make sure you uh, uh, get the password or you ought to be able to unrar the file. You know what I mean? Unzip or unrar, whatever it is. So yeah, that's uh, Spawn the Crusade Across Time for Open Board. Talk to you kiddos later.